oasis in the desert. Uh, it was brought to my attention by my production assistant that I forgot to tell you who I was last week. So my name is Mike, this is Oasis in the Desert, and I'm gonna walk you through our hydroponic setup and our hydroponic journey as we go. Now, for those of you who tuned in last week, you'll remember that we planted a bunch of seeds. So before we plant our next batch of seeds, which we did the research in the Farmer's Almanac, and we will be posting a video on the Farmer's Almanac and how we did our research and all that. But before we plant this, this week's batch, I do want to take you over and show you how last week's planting turned out. Okay, so I'm in the grow area of my garage. Um, everything really took off nice. We're, we're fairly pleased with it. Um, as the camera comes in and takes a look, you'll, you'll see everything is sprouting. Uh, everybody seems pretty happy. The only one we're not particularly pleased with are the garlic chives. Um, we kind of think there was an issue with the seeds just based on what's going on with them. So we'll update you guys as that goes. Uh, I have not given up hope yet, but we shall see. And you can look, even the carrots, carrots are doing well. They're taking off. So everybody's happy. We did four days in the dark, after which we saw sprouts. So then we started, started them on the light. Uh, we're doing 18 hours of light. We've actually had to water them once already. So these guys are right where we want them to be. They're gonna transplant when it's time into our hydroponic system really well, okay? So we'll close this up and then we'll go ahead and we'll go into what we're planning this week. All right, so now that we've seen that, I'm gonna go ahead and take you through what we'll be planting this week. Now again, we did our research in the Farmer's Almanac, told us that we should be planting lettuce do your research based on your area, okay? We highly encourage everybody to do that. It's gonna really up your chances of success. Now, we will be posting a video on how we do our research in the Farmer's Almanac and, and, and all that. So our research on the Farmer's Almanac told us that we should be planting lettuce, right? So um, that's what we're gonna be planting. I'll give you a quick rundown of specifically what we're planting but then we'll go on, on into the planting. So we're gonna be planting iceberg, butter crunch, red oak leaf, prize head, bib, romaine, spinach, and a pak choy cabbage. Now we're gonna plant those exactly like we did last week. We have our rock wool here. Well, uh, important safety tip about the rock wool, it is made from fiberglass. Okay, so when you're handling this, I do recommend like if you're breaking it apart or anything like that, that you go ahead and wear gloves. Uh, if you've never had fiberglass, get under your skin and we'll tell you it is highly unpleasant. So just keep that in mind when you're working with this. Okay, now um, we're gonna do this exactly like we did it last week. We've already got this rock wool really nice and wet. Let it soak up that water and then pour it out the excess. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my seeds um, just like last week, you know, three or four of them, right? And we just want to pay attention to how many we're using so that we can get a good idea of what our seed yield is moving forward. So we're just going to take those guys and tuck them right into the rock hole. And we're going to do that for all these and for all the different seeds. Uh, so I really don't want to bore you guys with sitting here watching me take four seeds at a time and put them in here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and use some cinematic magic and we'll fast forward to where I'm all the way done with this. All right guys, through the magic of cinematography, uh, fast forward to us having this all planted. So I wanna bring the camera in a little bit now that this is all planted, right? And again, I wanna show you that we labeled everything. That's gonna be important moving forward. That way you know exactly what's where uh, and you know how to take care the best you can as what's growing, okay? So now that everything's planted, we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna cover him up, really help keep that humidity and moisture in there, and we're gonna move him into our grow area. We're gonna be planting uh, some tomatoes, uh, some tomatillos, and, and whatnot, and we're gonna plant that in here, right? Now, our decision to plant this is because we're in, in here is because we're looking two steps ahead and we know that we're going to take these specific plants 
and move them into a, what's known as a Dutch bucket system, right? Um, so maybe we'll make that some of your homework. You can go ahead and take a look and see what a Dutch bucket system is. Uh, we will show it to you once we move these plants, but that's kind of several steps ahead. Now, the reason we're doing it in this is because in a Dutch bucket system, we can use the coconut core and perlite, just like what's going to be in, in here. And so by keeping them in that same medium, we're going to lessen the shock to the plant when we move it from here to our Dutch bucket system. All right. Now, uh, if you guys remember back to last week, we did 50% coconut core, 50% perlite, mix it with a bunch of water, fill this up and planted our seeds. Okay. We're going to be doing the exact same thing for these guys this week. So it's, it's, it's 50% coconut core, 50% perlite. I already have my bucket mixed up here where I got it nice and wet. And we're going to go ahead and just fill these up, right? I mean, it's, it's honestly pretty simple. Okay. So rather than you guys watch me scoop dirt right now, that you're kind of getting just the general idea. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll fast forward to where I have these guys planted and what we're going to do with them. Okay. So we have everything planted, uh, as far as our tomatoes, give you guys another shot of that. Um, again, everything is labeled. Uh, I can't stress this enough. Label, 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 right? So we got everything planted, everything labeled. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to close this guy up and he's going to move to, uh, to our grow rack. All right. So here we have some peppers, uh, that we planted in the rock wool. All right. Um, these guys are going to get covered up and grow in our, uh, go in our grow area. Now we did these in rock wool because we're going to be moving the peppers to what's known as a deep water system, right? So a little bit of homework for you. Go ahead, look up, see what a deep water system is, but don't worry about going too hard because we're going to transfer these into the deep water system. And when we do, we'll post a video on the channel showing you how we did it, what a deep water system is and how it works. Okay. Um, but we did choose the rock wool because it's a nice sturdy base. We're not going to have to worry about it, uh, separate now or anything like that. Okay, so just know, keep it in the back of your mind, that these peppers are gonna go into a deep water system and you guys will see what that is once they're actually sprouted and we transfer them over to that. We have our lettuce, our tomatoes, and then over here is our broccoli, cauliflower, and peppers. We started these one week ago. As you can see, they are looking fantastic. I do feel that the lettuce is getting a little bit leggy and some of it is having a bit of a lighter leaf. So I am going to uh, move the light on this tray because I do feel like it is having some issues. So we're going to move the light closer to this tray temporarily. And actually I'm not moving the light, I'm moving the tray. I'm gonna just put the tray on top of um, some boxes or something to get it closer to the light. Everything else is just doing great. The tomatoes, um, I have at least one tomato seed that's germinating from all of these, except I think this black cherry, I haven't seen anything yet. Um, we do have one teeny tiny one coming up here uh, for the striped paste tomatoes, but that's good because that just happened in the last 24 hours. So, and these guys just germinated in the last 24 hours as well. So these are all doing really well. So let's move over here. So we have broccoli, we have Romanesca broccoli, and then we have uh, snowball cauliflower. These are actually germinated ahead of schedule. They're supposed to take about two weeks to germinate. Obviously, they did not. I do see a little yellowing on that Romanesca. I'm not sure if that is a part of the seed because this is um, something 
I've never even seen in real life. So I'm not 100% sure if that yellow is part of the actual um, plant or if that is an issue with the lights. But as you can see, all of the others have germinated and look great. The peppers have not germinated. And I'm not worried because these peppers say that they can take up to 21 days to germinate and it's only been seven. So we are going to give them more time and be patient. Try to be patient. I'm not a very patient person. But that is our update for our week two plantings.